Now that you have the foundational concepts related to subnetting down, the actual process of subnetting really isn't that bad. It can be a little bit tedious, especially if you're doing it by hand using the traditional method, but it's not difficult. When you're asked a subnetting question, usually you need to figure out four different things. You need to figure out the network address for a given IP address in subnet mask, the broadcast address, the first valid host in a range of addresses, and the last valid host in that range of addresses. We're going to go ahead and use the subnetting tab in our spreadsheet in order to teach you the process of subnetting the traditional way. You'll notice that we have an IP address and a subnet mask and that those have been split out into the four octets and you can see the decimal representation for each octet for the IP address and the subnet mask. The first step in the process of subnetting is to convert those decimal numbers into binary. Go ahead and try to convert these decimal numbers into binary. That means you're going to convert eight different numbers into binary. Pause the video. And when you're done, come back and check to see if you got the correct answer. To check to see if you got the correct answer, you simply press this first plus button. That'll reveal the binary equivalent of the decimal numbers above. Once you have the binary numbers down, your first task is to figure out the network portion of the IP address. Of course, that's the definition of the subnet mask, or the ones in the subnet masks. It identifies the network portion. So you look at the ones, you and that with the IP address, and you carry down all of the bits from the IP address where there's ones in the subnet mask. You can see the network portion for this IP address and subnet mask. So how many bits are associated with the network? Well, you can count the ones, or you can just do the math and say, oh, it looks like that's a slash 18. There's 18 network bits. How many host bits? You could count the zeros, but smarter would be to take 32 minus the number of network bits, and it'll be 14. You can click on this second plus button to reveal the number of network bits and host bits. Believe it or not, you've already done the most complicated part of subnetting, that is determining the network portion. Now our spreadsheet makes it a little bit easier because we don't have to do the binary conversion. It does it for you. But you definitely need to know how to do that if you're going to do traditional subnetting. So what is the network address? A network address is simply the very first IP address for a network. That is where all the host bits are set to zero. To create the network address, all you do is copy down the network portion and then for the host portion, set all those host bits to zero and convert that from binary back into decimal. In this case, the network address is 172.16.0.0. What about the broadcast address? Its definition is simply where all the host bits are one. Again, you copy down the network portion and you set all the host bits to one convert that back into decimal, and the broadcast address for this network is 172.16.63.255. So what's the valid host range? Well, it's one more than the network address, that's the first address, all the way up to one less than the broadcast address, where in this case it's 172.16.0.1. You always only increment or decrement the very last octet, 172.16.0.1 all the way up to 172.16.63.254.